Jam. Hi. So welcome back to you didn't ask for it, but it's here with Jam. So I just finished watching Michael Myers, the new Halloween, Halloween Kills. Now, spoiler alert, trigger warrant, whatever. Spoiler alert, because I'm about to keep talking. I'm, I'm, I just finished watching it. Now, at first I was like, damn, like, Michael Myers just don't care anymore. He's just going around murking people because the thing, like, you know, when he killed the old couple, I know. Spoiler alert. When he killed the old couple, I was like, first of all, why are you in their bathroom? What are you doing? Like, if they weren't playing with their little um, drones, anyway. Why are you in the bathroom searching for a butcher knife? Why are you... <laughs> Like, I know he did it in one of the, like, the last movie when he went into that woman's house. That, yeah, when he went to that mo woman's house just to get a knife and he ended up killing her. But it's like, well, first of all, that don't make sense because how you know they're going to have that set of butcher knives? Because he only uses a, a, a particular pair, a particular um, um, style. Because if he come to my house, don't come to my house. Because it's, mine's is red. It's not, it doesn't have a black handle. He don't even use stainless steel. But anyway, that's besides the point. So when he did that, I was like, damn. Because, like, I feel like the way he killed the old man was an overkill. Like, first of all, he didn't even test the knives. He knew the knives that he used to stick this man in the back were not any of the ones that he needed, that he used. He just did all that just for fun. And then the lady, it's like... Okay, whatever. But now, to the bar scene. First of all, first of all, I forgot, like, because there's been so many movies, like, you know, I, this is the same town. These people still live in the same goddamn town. It's been like 50 lamb years that Michael Myers has been active. Like, we are actually in 2018, and he's been doing this since 19... 60, 70 something or something like that. Like, why y'all still in this town? What the, f why is this town not condemned by now? Because he seems to always come back to this town. Why? And you survived it. You know about this. You. Why are we here? How, why is this happening? And then Tommy, sir, your life was spared right why are you mad and why are you still in this goddamn town why are you still here like you know what he's capable of and now you're like in your 50s 60s and you in this town and you mad i mean i get it like he murked a lot of your associates and neighbors and stuff but okay be happy it ain't you that's what I would do. Oh, I want some chips. I want some plantain chips. But be happy that it was not you. Because it was not. So, okay, anyway. Now, the little black couple. I thought I, I thought I had people to root for. I did. Because I was. Because, you know, I was mad at first. I'm like, damn, why they had to kill that old couple? Like, they didn't even do nothing. All that for our knife, sir. Go to a grocery store. Go to a hardware store. There are so many knives you can get. You can get a machete. Ooh, Jason and Jason. Oh my gosh, Jason and Michael could meet while Michael is trying to go get a machete. And Jason is like, bro, that's my machete. And it's like, bah, bah. and then they can like team up later. Like, you know, whatever. Realize they can't kill each other. And then they team up and then decide to go fuck everybody up. But you know, whatever. Anyway, yeah, after that, I was like, okay, yeah, so this little black couple, because they looked like they had some sense at first, because remember when she was going to the car, when she got into the car and somebody was in the backseat, she didn't even investigate. She got out. And then she told her husband, to my, he's in the backseat, go check. He's like, go check. <laughs> I was like, right, bitch? We're not fighting. I believe you. I don't need to check. What did you, we're talking about Jason. And you say he's in the backseat. But you want me to go check? What am I going to do with that big old man? Like, my sister, what are you doing? So, all, when that happened, I was like, okay, okay. These are my people. That's what I'm talking about. But they quickly lost me. First of all, the fact that they don't know the history of the town. Okay. Especially the history is 
popular and as rich as Michael Myers history. Never mind, he's been terrorizing the thing on world for how many years now? Nobody's been able to get him, but never mind that. But you've never heard about him, and you're gonna go join these people who've been trying to get rid of him for how long, and he ain't he ain't ever been gone. Why? Why? And the firefighters, I'm like, sir, you. <laughs> This man just survived the whole fire. He was burnt, eh? He was burnt in the house. And while he was in the house burning, he killed two firefighters. Comes out with the little thingy, the little spear thingy. And you want to hose him, sir? I mean, get it. You're brave. But nah. It's time to run. You want to hose him. Like, he... This is the town that he grew up. This is the town that he's from. So you know his reputation. So what do you think a hose of water is going to do? He was just in a whole fire and he came out swinging. And then he like killed everybody, like 12 firefighters. Like, I don't think I... And you think Tommy little weak ass. Because wasn't Tommy, he was a bully back in the day. And, mm. The thing about it is, Michael Myers is a slasher film, right? So, it it lacked the slasher. I feel like we've come into a new era now. Because he's no longer a slasher now. He's just mad. I'll be mad as hell, too. Like, what do you guys want from me? I am just the murderer. Y'all know when I'm coming. And yet, you still in town. Like, why is everybody not leaving town when he comes to town? Hmm? Huh? Why not? But anyways back to the car so lisa and the two couple and then margaret um ass <laughs> they see the kids in the park they go to, um lisa gets out the car there's a creepy man in a white mask where and he keeps like trying to play hide and seek with us where did you see him Look! she shuts up she don't say shit so Michael goes after the people in the car. So when he gets the people in the car, of course he jumps on top of the car. And the old lady in the front seat, she starts shooting. And then she locks them in. She locks the door so nobody can get out. And then the guy, he's talking about, oh my gosh, let's drive off, let's drive off. And he like reaches from the back seat, reaches to the front, and just staring well. I'm like, how are you going to drive off without hitting the brakes and the, um, sir, jump your ass in the front and drive the fuck off. What are you doing? Like, you're not serious about this. But anyway, so Margaret asked the old woman, she's, she, she shut out the window. She shut out the win windows, the first, uh, what is it called? The windshield. Shut out the other window. And now they're all vulnerable. Now the woman, the wife to the man, she climbs out the window with the gun and leaves, right? So she's out. Now Margaret asks, Jason, I mean Jason, <laughs> Michael grabs her by the head. And then that man decides to save her. He just met her tonight. What the fuck you saving her for? Like Michael, you don't know Michael Myers. Why are you in his way? Like let him kill his people. Like girl, run. Like what are you doing, sir? Like I cannot deal with this right now. I can't. Why are you trying to help this old lady? She don't shut. Like she wasted all her bullets. Didn't get him not one time. Not that it matters. It's fucking Michael Myers. You know how many times they've tried to kill this man? He was literally in a fire in the house and he came out killed two people trying to save him and then murked all the firefighters in hand hand combat like sir this is not my lane i am leaving anyway so the guy when he's sitting there trying to save margaret as michael looks at him like bruh this ain't even concerning you but now it does so what did he do he went he was sent to me this maker probably not because his maker looking at him like stupid you are dumb you is dumb <laughs> and then his wife who's gotten away she comes back shooting just shooting out of nowhere not even aiming at anything seeing that because the old lady margaret asked what happened was right um michael finally got out from the from the car and then she's like this is for dr loomis and <laughs> So the wife, when she came back, she's sitting there just shooting for no reason. No reason. 
And then she gets in. I don't know why y'all thought y'all was going to get Michael Myers. She gets face to face with Michael Myers like hands reach. And what did he do? He did something. Then she shot herself. Child. I was like, that's what you get. Yeah, I should have just left. When you saw he was in town, why are you? What is wrong? You don't know this man. Like, <sighs> of course, Michael Myers, he does make this. You know, sometimes you think when you settle down and like, you know, start a new, a less city living life or whatever. You want to go to like a small town and like chill but it's like um i'm gonna do my research why would you go to a place where Mike Myers was <laughs> like sir and why would people say, why is that town not condemned like he been killing people for like 30 40 50 years <sighs> anyway so i thought everybody got murked right that's in the car <sighs> lisa ass she's still in the park and now she's just <gasps> She's hiding, and Michael tried to go look for her and couldn't find her. And I never understood. Fuck it, it's a movie. I never understood how people can not control their breath. Like she's a. I'm like, why you have to do that? Like you know, Michael Myers is out there. First of all, but, mm, anyway, so she ends up surviving. She does, and the granddaughter of Jimmy Lee Curtis, they told her not to go anywhere. Right? But now she's like, he killed my dad. Yeah, your dad is the only one he's ever killed. Oh, okay, bitch. He's not. So calm the fuck down. Your dad was not special. He was just a dumb man who was trying to be brave and rightfully got his ass kicked and ended. But my mind, it is what it is. Whatever. So when she, def it's just, uh, I don't like that. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, you have to, well, you about to have to die too, chill. How about that? <laughs> I get so, I don't know, I feel so strongly about that. Like, even those kids, in the name of Little John and Big John, first of all, why is Little John so much bigger than Big John? But it is what it is. Them two, at first I did, I was on their side, you know, with the kids, because I believe those kids, like, the fact that two of them survived, I'm like, Ugh, Michael, go find them, please, for me, do it for me. But it's fine. Whatever. But, the fact that they knew they bought michael myers's house um um home the one where he killed his sister and and they know it and they actually celebrated it because if they didn't celebrate it they wouldn't use it to scare these kids and it's halloween and you know you don't for 50 lamb years when you just ask them to be marked at that point like <laughs> You chose violence and he complied. He obliged. He was like, oh, all right then. At least he put y'all together. <laughs> you got that at least. <laughs> like, okay. Like, why would you? If I, first of all, why would you? Whatever. But them kids were on the And Tommy, like, I'm still baffled at the point that, at the fact that Tommy you were given a second chance and instead of leaving this stupid ass town knowing the history and actually coming face to face with michael myers you decided to stay and now you think you're big and bad with that bat meanwhile michael myers got a whole ass i've been stabbed i've been killed i've been burned i've been all of this you think that's what's gonna like that's what you get when he that last scene when he murked everybody i was like yes Yes, Michael. Take him all out. I just don't understand. Like, you guys know the legend. You know the, the story of Michael. Why are y'all being so stupid? Like, what? Like, that entire mob reminded me of a certain um, supporters, people. It's like they hear one thing and that's all. They hear what they want to hear and then that's it. And then when you try to correct them, they're like, no, you're wrong. It's like, no. Because the other guy that... Um, that happened to actually um escape at the same time i guess as michael myers when they saw him like oh that's michael without his mask and jamie lee curtis was like no that's not him that's not him they didn't want to hear her ass all they needed to hear that michael was right there it's like no that this feeble old man that's not michael my he, mm, he just came out the fire like so of course they didn't listen and they caused the old man to like jump out the window and now oh my gosh i'm so sorry we messed up meanwhile jamie lee curtis and her daughter are sitting there trying it's 
wait a minute Jamalee Curtis and her daughter sitting there trying to tell them that's not that's not Michael that's not Michael how do you know this is the woman he's been chasing this lady for over half of her life she remembers she knows what he looks like she's telling you that ain't him but nobody wanted to listen but after they Calls the manager out the window. Now everyone wants to be remorseful. Oh, now he's turned us all into a kid. And I'm like, I don't know. He did not cause anything or anything. You guys are just stupid as fuck. Because like I said, this man been killing for 50 long years. Why do you think you're the one? Like, he's been shot at. He has been burned. He has been almost, has been decapitated. Because I do believe that's the way to kill him. But I don't have time to watch all the Halloweens. I am not in the mood for that right now. Oh, maybe that could be a date I can have tonight. But anyway, like, why do you... Well, I guess in conclusion, what else do I have to say? In conclusion, I mean, we all been... Like, he has been terrorizing people for a long time. We know he can't die. I'm over it. At this point, I think what they need to... At this point, Michael Myers is a good guy to me. Like, I was I was watching this shit at, like, 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm, like, stomping around my apartment. Like, Michael, get everybody. Stump... Get them all. Eh, because it's just... At this point, it's ridiculous. It's like, what the... What do y'all expect? Like, what... In short of, like, actually decapitating Michael, they've never tried that. They keep stabbing him. They keep shooting him. They keep... It's like, that's not going to do anything. Like, what makes you think? And first of all, where he at when it ain't Halloween? Maybe y'all should go hunt him on days on not the 31st. Maybe he's not as strong then. Maybe it's just been so many movies that I don't remember. Why is he immortal? Like, it it only makes sense if, in the name of, I mean, which is really not a bad idea to, like, tie him to some kind of curse of the town. Because that's why one, first of all, these dumbass survivors, that's why they won't leave this stupid-ass town. And then on Halloween, especially when they need to be vigilant, they're still there. Like, in that same house, they never tore that fucking house down that he killed his kids so sad. Like, excuse me. So that's the only thing that could remind that could um explain that is that this this town is cursed, right? So Rob Zombie or whomever, if you need some brainstormers, let me know. I would definitely be in it and I wanna be in that writer's room for it because I think that's the only way that this is gonna work because at this point, like he's been he's been he's been dead. He's been stabbed, he's been burned, he's been cut, he's been and the only time that, like, when he was in the mental institution, why didn't he get... Because he can easily overpower all these people. So we need, we, need, we need some blanks to be filled out. Like, the next Halloween movie, I don't need to see him continuing this whole thing that just happened. I need to know what I'm working with. Because at this point, it's too much. It's too much. Like, I'm on his side. Sorry. I just think it's stupid when you know that there is a whole homicidal little maniac, undeadable one, <laughs> immortal, but undeadable, and you choose to stay in the same motherfucking town. Why are we in the city? Why are we here? Can you imagine you going through and then somebody say, oh, well, blah, 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 blah. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> say what? What's the history of this town? Why am I here? Like, it's one thing to go see a haunted house, which I would not do again. When I was younger, I did those. But now as an adult, I'm like, I could have been dead. Because people are crazy. Like, the freaks come out at night. What's, what's, what? No, it's, I'm good. So, yeah, we need, because, I mean, we know Jason's story-ish, kind of. But so we need some Michael Myers. Oh my gosh, Jason is Michael Myers. Michael, they brothers, they cousins, share. Oh my gosh, can we have a Jason and Michael versus the world? I want that. Instead of aliens, we got Jason and Michael. Can you imagine it? 